up and left me We were close friends, also lovers Did everything for one another Now you're gone and I'm lost without you here now But I know I gotta live and make it somehow Come back to me Okay, y'all. I'm on the phone with um Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. So I'm on the phone with Virginia Virtual Academy because I was trying to sign my kids up for online public school. Oh, hey y'all, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Danielle, if this is your very first time here. And I make mostly home vlogs, but also sometimes like weekly and daily vlogs. So if you like that sort of thing, you like to see normal people living everyday life, this is the place for you. <laughs> also do travel vlogs sometimes too. So if you like that kind of stuff, you will love it here. Go ahead and subscribe. So um, this is gonna be a home vlog. I'm going to be showing y'all some home stuff also have a new duvet cover from Target that I want to try on the bed see how it looks and I want to get new sheets so hopefully all that will be in this video if we can get it all done um, but right now I'm on the phone with Virginia I'm a Virginia resident so I'm on the phone with Virginia Virtual Academy because I'm trying to get my youngest daughter Corey signed up for um, virtual or online public school um, I just kind of feel like she needs more structure so I'm trying to get her signed up um, but yeah let me show y'all this because I got some UPS emails and I'm like what are they talking about they like you, you your package was they were like your package was delivered I'm like I didn't order nothing but look what they sent oh I don't know what is in these boxes and yeah, I have no idea what's in these boxes. <sighs> but she is supposed to start start school on Monday. So I'm going to bring them in the house, open them up, and see what's inside. So she can be prepared for school on Monday. But the, the issue I'm having is that they're saying that they, they didn't, uh, not denied. They don't want to accept her um, report card from last year. Even though she was in a, an accredited homeschool program, even though um, it shows what grade she was doing in each subject, they de denied it. Um, they kicked back the report card because they're saying that it doesn't show her grade. It does show her grade. It shows exactly what grade she, what grade work she was doing. It shows what percentage of each class she completed. It shows what her grade is in each class. It shows her GPA. So I don't know what else they want to see. But she's in kindergarten last year. So I'm hoping that that's not going to be a huge problem because right now it looks like it is going to be a problem. And if I don't give them something different, they're not going to let her stay in school. So that's why I'm on the phone with them now, just trying to get that sorted out because what else do you want me to send you I don't I don't understand so yeah very annoying but if I can get past that hurdle <laughs> she's good to go all the rest of her information has been submitted all of her documents have been accepted with the exception of her um report card and she'll be good to finish out the year um I tried to also sign the other kids up for Virginia Virtual Academy and or no for connections academy they're on the wait list so i have like one more document to submit for kane and cody and if we can get that done they should be good but um i don't know because they're on the wait list 
and then I don't know if they're going to be accepted because they're on the wait list. So now, I mean, I guess I can withdraw their application and try to sign them up with the same program that I signed Corey up with. The only reason I didn't sign Corey up with Connections Academy is because, um, because I actually like the way that one looked a little better. Um, but I didn't sign her up with that one because it started at sixth grade. Cody's in sixth grade this year. So I signed her up for that one. But then, um... Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. So, yeah, I was trying to, I wanted to get them all in the same school, but then I couldn't get her in Connections Academy. So I just signed up Kane and Cody in Connections Academy. And I didn't have any issues with their report cards on with that program or with that online public school. Um, the issue I'm having there, well, it's not really an issue. I need to send one more, one more form that Bernie needs to sign and then their uh, enrollment forms should be good and they should be able to start. Hopefully, fingers crossed that they make it off the wait list and into the school. Um, if not, they'll continue homeschooling this year, I guess, or I can try to sign them up with Virginia Virtual Academy. But again, I'm nervous about the whole report card thing because I don't know how they're gonna do it. But anyway. Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome to another video of Koi's channel. It's not Koi's channel. It's Koi's channel. Bill's channel. It's Koi's channel. Yeah. This is heavy. It's strong. Oh, I forgot I bought this. I bought a new lint roller for the couch and chairs. Um, my mom's boss got this for her. So cute. It's, look, you can see the clearness inside. It's a little ASMR. Girl. Okay, give me my camera. <laughs> Here you guys go. Okay, y'all. Just got off the phone with them. They are going to re-review her document, her um, report card, because the girl that I just spoke with, she was like, yeah, I can see. <laughs> I can see the grades on here, so I'm not really sure. So she was like, let me just have them re-review it, and hopefully it'll be good to go. That darn net is killing me. Oh! Oh, I got it. Um. So, yeah, hopefully she's good to go. She starts school on Monday. So I've got a first grader, <laughs> a first grader. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get these uh, boxes from outside. Oh, that's really heavy. Oh, that's not heavy. Bro, what? Here. Oh, that's heavy. You want me to carry it? <laughs> you good? Now this one is heavy. Here we guys. Now I'm gonna give you a review. All right, let's see what's in these. So let's open that one first. Okay, there's the school, of Virginia Virtual Academy. Hold on, what you doing? I'm trying to. You trying to what? Open it. Let me see. Can you lift it up? Hey guys. Oh. Okay, I feel like we should not open all this stuff. Oh, it's phonics. It's like all the phonics workbooks and sight word cards and all that stuff is in here. Because it's time to read, girlfriend. But you know all your letters. so And you know pretty much all your letter sounds. So you're ready. And I don't think that we should open all this. 
Because your teacher will tell you when when to open stuff and what you need on what at what time. Um, oh, stickers. Oh, I heart reading. Start strong, finish stronger. Here this year. Then they gave me this. Let me see. That's just like a guide for how to use the program. Capture first day of school photo. So if y'all are interested in signing your kids up for um, a virtual or online public school, this is, I guess, what you can expect. <laughs> I've never done it before. This is my first time putting them in anything like this because y'all know I've, we've been homeschooling for like seven years. So yeah, I'm excited to not have to be the one teaching <laughs> this year. Fortunately, Kane and Cody can also get going. I might need to just sign them up in this school instead of the one they're in right now. And then um, they should be able to start pretty soon, too. Because if I don't hear anything again? back from the other school. When are we going to school again? Huh? When are we going to school again? Monday. If I don't hear anything pretty soon, I'm going to just switch plans and put them in this one. Okay, y'all, I'm about to run in the beauty supply store because I need to get Corey some beads for her hair. Um, I showed y'all her hair in the last video, but I need to dip her hair today and put beads on it. I was going to try to go to a beauty supply in Fredericksburg, and if they don't have any beads here, I'm going to do that. If they do, though, I might just stay in my city and not go all the way to Fredericksburg. If they don't have any here, I'm already on the right path. And if they do, I could stay here. So that is the plan. It's so beautiful outside today, y'all. It's 83 degrees. It feels so good out here. Oh, I see all the balls on the wall. I see the little balls, bobos, y'all. Some of y'all call them bobos. I call them balls. Hello. How are you? Good. Let me do FaceTime. Y'all, I'm shook because because when I tell you I've been looking for a beauty supply store out here for the longest and I was not able to find one. Like I just noticed this one the other day and they had exactly what I need. They have a lot of stuff in there. So I got her two different kinds of beads, like this white glow in the dark. Provoke one. a response because she was pissed at him. And then the pink glow in the dark. So we're gonna do the white and pink. And I will dip her hair and put these on when I get home. But now that I got the beads, I don't really think I need to go all the way to Fredericksburg. I was supposed to get them something from Costco. I was supposed to get them um, pizza and hot dogs. Well, pizza or hot dogs from Costco. But now, maybe I'll just go to McDonald's or something and get them something from there. I don't know. Oh, it's a nail salon right here too. Huh, maybe I'll try them out one day. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm back home. I bought this a couple weeks ago. This duvet cover. It's actually a duvet cover set, so it comes with the um, shams, I think. Yeah, comes with two shams. I'm going to try this on my bed, see how it looks. I did not go to Fredericksburg today, so I didn't have a chance to check out any, um, what's it called? Any, um, I can't think, y'all any sheets or anything but I do want to try this on my bed and see how it looks and I do want to buy new sheets I just don't know what color I want to buy which is why I haven't bought any yet and now that I'm like before I undo this I just want to kind of look and see how it looks with everything else I do feel like it looks good with the gray here and here it looks good well, the green is leaving if I put this on. And then I need to figure out what color sheets to put. Question is, how do I like it up against this? I guess that's fine. I don't know, though. I'm not really, like, obsessed with it. I'm just extremely tired right now. I think I'm going to take a little break. <laughs> a little, like, sit down and chill for, like, just sit and chill for a minute and get myself together. Because I'm also on the verge of a headache because I didn't eat anything at all until 1 o'clock. <sighs> to the point where as soon as I got my food, I started feeling nauseous. 
then I came home and now I'm here but my head is a little bit hurting a little bit so I'm gonna take a break and hopefully I can get that together <laughs> and then we can try out we can see what we can do with this bed um with this duvet But for those of y'all that might ask me why I'm making her braid so long, and this is why. Because look how long this braid is. Hold on. Look how long this braid is so far. And her hair is still like this is where her hair ends. Her hair is all the way down here. From the top of her head so that is why i have to braid past her hair and then i still have to dip these braids which means some of her hair is going to get wet which i don't want but it just is what it is because her hair is so long and the reason why i'm not just doing her hair without fake hair or braids without fake hair and just her hair is because it won't last as long it just it would last maybe a week and then it would be a mess. So that is where I'm adding hair. I literally just got past her hair and this is how long the braid is. Probably about 14 inches before I got past her hair. 14 inches braided. <laughs> so today we're gonna go to short pump. I'm just trying to finish up her hair so we can go. And Corey has an attendance um at one o'clock there's something that we need to get online for for her school um and it just said attendance so i'm assuming it's some kind of training on how to log your attendance on inside that program or inside her school website so i gotta get online for that at one right now it is 11:36, so i got almost another hour and a half to finish her hair Shit. And then um, we won't have to leave because I need to be in short pump. I need to be in short pump at 3.15. So I'll see y'all in a little while whenever I'm done. Okay, just finished her hair. Just got it dipped. We're about to walk out the door right now. Here is how it turned out. Let me see. So, turn to the other side. And then, now I can do this. Let me see the back. Actually, I would put my hair, my hair on, but like, it's wet, so. I don't want my shirt to be wet. Girl. There we go. This is not bop it. Twist it. Turn it. Bop it. Girl, shut up. Bye. <laughs> I feel locked in You now. can take that with you. So dry, oh keep drying your hair. All right, let's go. Okay, we just got here. Oh my gosh. Whew, it feel good out here. It's nice and it's warm, but it's not too hot. Please put the camera away. Why? Lord.
come back. It's, I see it. As soon as I came out of the coffee shop, I saw it. It's right there. It's right there. See the cross. Look up. Oh. <laughs> It probably comes with more pieces. Oh, look at this coffee table book right here. This is so pretty. Oh, it's it's sealed. I like this basket too. And this table. Oh my gosh, there's some nice stuff in here, y'all. And the fall florals are giving. That's cute. You don't need that. <laughs> the fall florals are so cute this year. Y'all gotta come look at them. Ooh, look at this. Um, ooh, I could do chocolate brown. This is pretty. Oh, sorry. I won't put you in it. <laughs> what you say? Yeah, you can go out there. I don't think there's anything out there right now. If it's open, you can. They are different. I think they're cute. It's given CB2 and not Crate and Barrel. Huh? Oh, and this bowl is so cute, too. Girl, you think everything is cute. Look at this quilt. This is adorable. That's so cute. Oh, the green one is so cute. I can use it as like a throw blanket for my bed. That is cute. I think I should get I'm it. I'm not buying you that. I'm not paying $200 for anything for your bed. This is so cute, too. Yeah, I would, because I take care of my stuff. Hey, yeah, it's Friday, and I'm off work, because I'm off work every Friday in August. Um, and I got, <laughs> I got ready this morning, because I was just planning to go out and get coffee, but then I was like, well, let me just go to Fredericksburg, and, um maybe just run in Target, get my coffee from, you know, uh, Duncan, and just, like, see what's what. Then that turned into, actually, let me go to the movies and just, like, treat myself. Let's go to Red Lobster for Crab Fest. Let's go to the movies and see it ends with us. And then that turned into, well, let's go to the movies twice today, <laughs> and let's just stay out all day. So that's what's happening now. <laughs> um, I have an, a meeting at 11 o'clock, but right now it's 9.48. And I'm going to run in Target. Then I'm going to take this meeting from like 11 to hopefully not. It's, it's scheduled for 30 minutes, but I'm hoping it doesn't take the full 30 minutes. And then I'm going to go to Red Lobster and eat some crabs. And then I'm going to go to the movies. And then... I don't know after that and then um i'm gonna my next movie starts at four so my first movie is at, my first movie is at 12 40 it's it ends with us and then my second movie is at four o'clock it's the alien romulus i think it's called um so that's the plan for today we're just chilling hanging out with ourselves because i just need some time to decompress <laughs> and uh i just decided to take the full day and treat myself so that's what's happening um i'm gonna go on target just to see what they have i know that i still have not shown y'all that duvet cover and it's because i haven't shown it to myself yet i literally showed it to y'all the other day and then i didn't feel like putting it on the bed and then i didn't like it was just trying to get hair done and stuff took so much time like in the last two days i probably spent 10 12 hours just doing hair in the last two three days so yeah it was it was it was a lot of work to get both girls hair braided have you ever gone in the store and then as soon as you get inside you realize you don't really want to do any shopping and that's exactly what just happened to me but while i'm here this little dress is cute i mean i don't know I may be cute for a lot of different occasions. I, it's it's cute. 
Okay, we starting to get the clearance items. Um, now that the season is about to change, this is cute. It's huge, but it's cute. Is it a comforter or else a quilt? I'm definitely noticing a trend with the indigo blue. Um, look at some of these pieces they have at Target. This is almost like a direct dupe for the Crate and Barrel candle holders. And then they have like smaller versions of it or like thinner. And here is more of that indigo blue. I think that is definitely a trend for the fall. This is so pretty and heavy. Definitely real marble, it's so nice. You could use this to put jewelry in. Okay, y'all. I am just leaving. Yeah, I'm just leaving. Um, <clears throat> And I looked around for probably less than 10 minutes. I was very much over it as soon as I walked in. Okay, just pulled up at Red Lobster. I was actually thinking that it was in the mall parking lot, but it's actually in the same parking lot as Target. So I left, like I went out of the parking lot, I went out of the shopping center and then the GPS sent me right back into the shopping center. So. Here we are at Red Lobster, but it's only 10.22. They open at 11, and my meeting is at 11. So, I guess I'm just about to sit here and watch YouTube or TikTok or something, or maybe read until it's time to go into the, or until my meeting, and then I'm going to go straight into Red Lobster. That way my food will be fresh. It won't be like, it won't have been sitting around for a long time. Should be a good experience, hopefully. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Okay, okay. Okay, so, you have some questions for me? Yeah, so I just wanted to kind of figure out what the process is and how it looks, what, because I was, have been thinking about getting a trainer, but I was thinking about in person. So I'm kind of trying to figure okay. out the differences between online and in person and how, how it's going to look. Right. Okay, so usually when you work with like a trainer in person, um, one, are you experienced in the gym at all? Um, I used to be, but <laughs> I fell off, so I haven't been to the gym <laughs> consistently in like two years. Okay, but, so, but are you comfortable with like different lifts? Are you comfortable squatting? Are you comfortable with like RDLs and just like other exercises? I'm comfortable with RDLs, deadlifts, not as comfortable with squats, um, especially okay. on like the Smith machine. Gotcha, so, okay, but you, but you know like the mechanics and everything, like yes. form and all of that. Yes, yes. Okay, so when it's, it comes to well, okay. training, let me yeah, say I, I, I understand what it's supposed to look like. I that doesn't mean that I have good form. Does that make okay. sense? <laughs> okay. 
where do you think he falls in that? Like, it's it's hard. Got to... it, or if I'm like I'm a beginner, like no. I think I'm probably closer to the beginner side because it's been so long. Um, okay, I'm sure it might come. It would probably come back when I started again, but right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not as confident as I used to be. For, right. For like two you years. Have you been out for two years? Mm -hmm. Two years? Okay. And have you been doing any form of exercise during that time? Not really. No. Okay. So it really, you just kind of like starting from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Just jump into that. When it comes to like in person training, it's, it's a lot about the mechanics and the form. And having someone who is going to like push you and it, it's more of like a coaching kind of thing like they're showing you just everything but with online it's usually for people who have kind of like a general sense like you can still be a beginner and have an online coach but but you still have to have some type of like form you can't be like i can't get someone who's never picked up a weight ever and decide to work with me as a coach because i i, could, I can't teach you that i can't show you that. right but if you can work with dumbbells if you can you know um then, then you can work with an online coach so that so also the difference is when you train with somebody in person they're just pretty much taking you through just the training itself so when you see them you train with them and that's it and then you go home and everything else you kind of figure out on your own um because most in person uh, trainers aren't really doing like no plan okay yeah just finished my call it went so well um i'm definitely gonna sign up with her as my personal trainer moving forward because i need some accountability <laughs> i need somebody to help me along this journey i've tried to do it by myself and obviously i didn't like give it 100 percent and continue with it but it's because i really do need sorry y'all my camera died but i was saying i need somebody to tell me what to do <laughs> and like like talk me through it because and check up to see if I'm doing it because just at this point in my life I just really feel like I need help <laughs> with it and just like obviously you can know what to do but having support is something different and I'm willing to pay for support so I'm looking forward to it I'm gonna go ahead and pay the invoice and then get started with her I'm very much excited about starting a new journey and I just want to say to y'all, if you know that you're struggling with something and you need help and you can afford to get some help, get some help, <laughs> get some help. Cause it's not, it's just, if you can do it, then it's about self care and taking care of yourself and pouring into yourself. So yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to getting started on a new um, wellness journey and having somebody to work with and um, having somebody to communicate with about my journey who is like familiar with it <laughs> and who knows what's supposed to be going on because it's really hard to try to talk to people who are not also tapped in like that and who don't have the same goals as you and who don't really like to try to ask somebody to help you be accountable when they're not interested in doing it so yeah <laughs> looking forward to it i just wanted to share that with y'all because i know um i said a while ago that i was going to start my wellness journey and i did try to start but it just seems like it's really hard to stick with something and i know that i needed a, an accountability partner so i went to i know that i needed a trainer so i went to the ymca and i was trying to find a trainer on there but for me i really wanted a black woman i really 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 wanted a black woman one because i want to support a black woman's business and two because I just feel like black women understand black women <laughs> it's just a different dynamic to me than um, somebody who's who doesn't share who doesn't have that commonality with me as far as like body type and like exercises like the exercises that somebody might do if they don't have the same body type as me might be different than or a similar body type as me might be different or will be different than what they would choose to do if they did have my body type so I do I just that's those are the reasons um but yeah I went to the YMCA I look, was looking for a trainer I could not find anybody that looked like me um near at the YMCA near my house so that stopped me from doing that and then I was just watching her video one day she her name is Keisha Collins she has a like fitness lifestyle channel and she uh posted one day about starting her own um online training business so I was like oh 
okay, well that'll work. So I went and clicked her link, went on her website, um, read the different, read through the different options, and I was definitely interested in the one-on-one -on -one training or coaching program. So I just wanted to get a little bit more information about it before I signed up, and that's what that call was about. So now that I have the information, and I, I really do think it's a really good offer, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign up, and I will keep you guys posted on how that all goes. But I just wanted to share that. So, yes, that is where we are. I got a water, also got a mango lemonade. It's a little bit sweet. And then, of course, some biscuits. She brought me two, I only ate one because I'm scared I'm not gonna be able to eat my food if I keep eating. Okay, y'all, I just finished the first movie. Um, it ends with us. And it started off a little slow because I read the book so I knew what to expect. Um, and it definitely started off a little bit slow, but then at the end, y'all, tearjerker. I was in there crying. <laughs> it was so emotional at the end. Oh my God. It was, you will not be able to watch that movie without crying. I would recommend it. Honestly, I would recommend it for young girls too. I would I would let Cody watch that because I just feel like it's an important topic to discuss. Um, it's not something I've ever personally experienced, but I know a lot of women experience abuse and um, I think it's a topic that we should introduce earlier than when they start dating. Because I just feel like it's, it's super important to um, which way am I going? Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Uh, yeah, I just think it's super important to make sure that, um, especially girls, understand what is and isn't okay to do in a relationship and what what is a, what is acceptable for what's what is acceptable behavior from men. So, <clears throat> yeah, it was so emotional. And they did it, and if you are, you know, somebody who's experienced that, they did it very tastefully. It was very discreet the way they, um, there wasn't really much violence in the movie. So it was very tastefully done. So it wouldn't be, I think the point of that was not to make it too triggering for people who have experienced abuse. So I appreciated that. At first I was like, hmm, I wonder why they're not, because I read the book again. So I knew what was, what was in the book. Um... But I was wondering why they weren't showing anything. But then I realized, oh, some people, you know, some people have lived this. So they don't want to trigger people. And uh, I think that was a good call. I think that was a good call. But yeah, it was a good, it was a good movie. So now I'm about to just chill. Because <laughs> my next movie starts in about 40 minutes. 
but I do not go um, I don't not go I don't go to yeah I don't go in the movie not AMC when the movie starts because it's 30 minutes of previews and it's a bunch of horror movies on those previews especially for this movie because this is also classified as a horror this next movie uh, the alien movie so I'm about to sit through 30 minutes of horror uh, previews you're saying Santa Claus has been kidnapped Garcia what the heck you can't trust this guy he's on the list you don't mean yes. that list ML4 are you telling me this clown is a level 4 naughty lister a level 4 naughty lister oh is that funny too? you're gonna help us Okay, y'all, just got home. Let me give y'all a super quick haul because it's about to get dark. We losing daylight fast. So I went to Gap. And actually, I went to Gap yesterday, too. I went to the Gap outlet today, and I went to the actual Gap store yesterday at the Shore Pump. So I got Corey something both days. So I'm going to show y'all all the stuff she got. So I got her three sweatsuits today. Just like matching little sweatsuits. So here is the first one and I'll get her a medium, which is a size eight. This is the first little sweatsuit. And then the second one, here are the pants. And here is the top. Top looks small. Okay, so that's the second one. And then here's the third one. This one is like, rather than a hoodie, it's like a little half zip pullover. And then the pants are cargos. So she got one pair of like the straight leg cargos. She got one pair of straight leg, just straight up straight leg sweatpants. And then she got one pair of like um, normal regular sweatpants. So I paid like 120 for all three sweatsuits um, after tax. So it was a really good deal. Everything was 50% off. I need to go back because <laughs> that was a good deal. And then um, I got myself. A little pajama set y'all this stuff was this was $15 with 50% off they was 50% off all the clearance stuff hopefully y'all can see that $15.99 50% off and this was $14.99 with 50% off so it's like a cute little matching um, pajama set so my total after everything was 138, which I'm happy with. Let me get her other thing that I got her yesterday. Okay. So yesterday at the regular Gap store, you can tell by the, well, maybe if you went in the regular Gap store, they would give you this bag if you got a bigger one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was the, reg the regular Gap store, not that the outlet. And I went on the clearance racks in there and found these little jeans they're so cute I thought these were so adorable and they were $16.99 on clearance so I got her those and then those are also size 8 I'm hoping that she that she does wear a size 8 now because <laughs> she's just getting out of a size 6 but I feel like 6 is too small and a gap is as small as 6-7 and then a medium is eight and a large is a 10 and an extra large is a 12, I think. Or maybe a, I think a large is a 10. Um, and then I also only got these because she wanted them, but she will not be able to wear these anytime soon. It's a size three right now. She's in a one, but they were only $8. So I just grabbed them because she wanted them. But it's like the little jelly sandals. And she probably won't even be in these next summer. It's probably going to be two summers before she's in those. Because she's not even in the two yet. She's still in the one. But 
yeah so that's everything we got i may or may not try that stuff on her tomorrow and see how it all fits just to make sure um i don't need to take anything back and get different sizes or if we don't like the fit of something and we want to exchange it for something else so I, yeah i do need to try all that stuff on her um but yeah so that's everything I'm trying to think what else actually i think i saw these jeans at the um outlet store today too i don't know if they were cheaper or not i didn't even check probably not but yeah so that's um yeah that's it y'all i still have not even <laughs> i haven't even unfolded this darn duvet cover yet but we're gonna do this tomorrow so that's it for tonight i'm about to get in the shower wash my face get ready for bed and probably read until i fall asleep <laughs> so i will see y'all tomorrow <laughs>